as it is known already in the literature, people with MS have a tendency to have um, a slightly higher, uh, in slightly higher percentages, uh, epilepsy. Uh, it usually, uh, it's not usually associated uh, with MS, but there are specific cases in which um, um, MS flare-up can uh, be represented by uh, acute seizures. And uh, this is actually really tricky to recognize, especially when uh, this is actually the start of the MS. So um, specific imaging is really, really important and drawing out the important clues from the uh, history of the patient usually help in this setting. The case I will be presenting is actually uh, quite challenging a young male with uh, a first seizure and afterwards a diagnosis of MS. And it's quite unclear if that first seizure he had was actually an MS flare-up or it was not associated uh, with it. He's uh, really young, a 24-year-old, so this can be also the onset of a focal uh, epilepsy as in the general population. But uh, the specific uh, details of the treatment should be uh, carefully considered uh, by the doctor. Uh, by the doctor, another problem is that uh, young people with MS, when they have a flare-up and they have the diagnosis, they should be informed about the uh, um, the DMTs, the disease-modifying treatments available in MS, and if they can trigger seizures. There are actually quite a large number of them, and if a seizure occurs after the initiation of the DMT, you should also take this into consideration. It might be also also an acute seizure and not a chronic epilepsy diagnosis. So this also has to be taken into consideration when uh diagnosing and when uh, establishing the treatment. Another problem would be the interaction between anti-epileptic drugs and uh, the DMTs. So, and also the comorbidities of the patients. Uh, as they get older, they might get other problems from their MS uh, or uh, have complementary treatment for specific things like bladder incontinence. And these might interact with specific uh, anti-epileptic drugs and they should be changed or at least the dosage uh, adjusted for uh, the patient. I hope it will be uh, a really uh, interesting discussion following this, uh, this subject because it's really, really a wide one. <laughs> Usually when a patient comes to the emergency department, uh, some differential diagnoses are just missed. They are not thought of, and this is actually really important. Uh, also from the history of the patient, if you have to have it uh, as thorough as you can do it, because you might miss specific diagnosis and that will affect your entire treatment course. Uh, and th this is actually really, really important when it comes to the quality of life of the patient and the uh, long-term management. If you start off badly, it might uh, aggravate uh, in a shorter time. And uh, as we know in MS, the progression is, uh, is a really, really uh, bad one and it has a big impact. Epilepsy is not uh, does not have an, uh, such a great impact if it's on um, a person without the, the MS diagnosis, but when combined, they can spell disaster. I really hope that research in, the, in this domain will uh, take us into deeper, uh, into a deeper understanding of uh, the uh, pathomechanism. So the inflammation, um, the exact mechanism through which the inflammation uh, directs uh, towards a seizure is not that well understood. And uh, I think there's actually... Um, a lack of uh, accordance between specialists when it comes to an acute seizure in an MS flare-up. So if they should treat, they should not treat. There are some considerations uh, whether the DMTs have an impact on acute seizures. That's a, a really new subject and it's uh, unexplored until now. And it should be taken into consideration because DMTs have uh, a longer time uh, to... Uh, take effect. And this might actually improve the epilepsy diagnosis. And that would also imply uh, reducing the anti-epileptic drug doses or actually uh, weaning them off uh, completely. And this is not, not really explored and not really explained until now. So I do hope uh, that the newer research will come up in the next years.